Hello everyone, my name is JCRP and you are watching Kalakar Makerspace videos. In the previous two videos, you saw the metal structure of the tiny home that I am making for myself here uh, in India. In this video, we are going to put some panels on top of it, especially bison panels. We will get into the details of it in a bit, but bison panels are going to form the walls of the home and I want to show you how I did it. This is actually a small cutout of uh, the bison panel. Yes, bison panels are made out of cement, but they are not entirely cement. If you see the cross section, you can actually see wooden uh, pieces over here and this is what actually gives strength to the bison panel much better than the cement sheet because these wood grains actually bind the cement together like an aggregate like a concrete where you actually use stones. Here is a bison panel that I CNC'd. I don't know if this can be done with the cement sheet because they are very brittle and they might crack but here you can see the design is pretty good. The cutouts are pretty good. The curves are amazing and here you can see in detail how the wood grains are there inside it. While there are wood grains inside it, there are no wood grains outside so there is no fear of them getting wet and swelling. On the outer surface you can see it is uh, much plain and then there is only cement. It's only at least after a mm or 2 mm that there are wooden pieces. And if you're going to actually paint or just put a clear coat on it, then this panel can go on for a very long time. So now that we know a little bit of difference between bison panel and cement sheet, let us go and see how I used it to make the home. The total number of panels that I used to build this home was around 40 to 45 and each panel cost me a little over 1000 Indian rupees. So that's like 45,000 Indian rupees. The thickness of the sheet that I used was 10 mm for the walls and for the flooring I used 18 mm thickness. So here you can see the team carrying it up, up the stairs, 18 mm ply are very 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 heavy so it actually at least requires 3 people to carry it. Oh by the way uh, we do have an Instagram channel and I do put up stories and a lot of updates over there so please if you haven't following me please go ahead and follow me there. Before uh, setting the floor, I have to move the sand around because it was actually sitting on top of the metal rails. So we are just uh, trying to level the sand here and make a flat surface so that the sheets can rest on top of it. This sand is a little different. Here in Maharashtra, we call it as Murum, which is a little bit of a harder sand. We let a opening in the wall and through that we will be able to bring the entire sheets. If you can see there is no cross bracing over there. This is a very exciting but scary situation also because we are standing at a height and there is nothing beneath us. Uh, there is no flooring. This is the first uh, ply that I am putting up. So. We have to be careful in putting that up and not falling also. Here Shiva is marking the cutout. So we have to make some notches so that we can insert that inside the pole. To cut the cement sheet, we could actually use a saw which is made for wood cutting. But here I am using the blade which is there to do metal cutting and this worked out pretty fine you will feel some uh, burning smells but that's only because the wood is getting burnt over there but this was pretty quick for us. Wow. 
once I make the scoring cuts all the way deep then I can just knock it off and they just fall right away. The first uh, time I am trying to set I did not cut it as much as required. So we had to push it back and do some more cutting on it. So here I have marked a little more. Uh, by the way the, uh, in the previous video I have told you that the wall pipes are around 50 mm by 50 mm. So here I made 50 mm cut and we are using the same blade to cut it. This time we got a little more clever and we just made two cuts and that itself uh, made the process easier. Using a welding uh, hammer which had a pointy nose we were able to knock on the edges. Now Ashiva and Narayan are trying to lift it a little bit because they are just sagging down and touching the metal pieces. So using some uh, screwdriver they are trying to push it a little up so that the people from the other side can just slide it into place. Yes, that was a perfect fit. Now we can go for the next sheet. As you can see in the flooring I have given four feet gaps and the sheets fall there perfectly. This is something that I had to think before and weld according to it. The sheets were very heavy so any finger in between will just get chopped off so I had to be very vigilant when they were doing the work. By the way just to tell you the team had no prior experience in working with cement sheets or anything with to do this with project but I think with a lot of research that we did and just the go to attitude we were able to get this and completed i just can't express my gratitude thank you thank you so much kalakar team you're the best ye jo hai wahan pe line mark kar diya hai humne ki kahan pe screw karna hai aur ek ek foot pe humne marking bhi kiya hai taki pehle pre drill karenge uske baad csk wala bit lagayenge ye wala bit Initially we were trying to drill directly the bits inside but that was just breaking. So we had to pre-drill and then do the screwing. So that's something that we learned as we go. And if at all the sheets were too large then we used a circular saw with a normal wood cutting blade and we were just able to cut through. We cannot do that with a cement sheet but because the cement sheet is going to grind the blade and you will lose the sharpness very soon but uh, with bison panel it is possible here you can see that we just needed a two feet uh, piece so we cut it and we are trying to set it we a problem actually here it is flush whereas uh, is on a different angle. So, this is why you can see that it is almost turned. So, what do we do? We turn it this way. 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 We turn it this Working with metal is much easier this way because you can keep modifying it. With wood it is not possible. And of course after every weld we have to grind it flush and you can see how beautifully it is being ground just flat. Grinding does not uh, spoil the integrity of the welding if you make the weldings right. Here we are bringing in the walls. As I said, the wall panels are just 10 mm thick. So once the panel at the bottom is set, it gives a ledge so that we can put the next panel on top of it. And once that is set, be careful. Using a, another pipe, 
we find the center of the pipe behind it so that we can actually pre-drill into it and then use screws to secure it. <laughs> Come this side. Move. They have to work. Come here. Sit on 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 here first. Sometimes when we put the walls, we have to think where it fits properly or which one to do first and which one to do second. Here in this case, you can see that I initially put it on this wall, but then I had to move it because we thought that closing that will be better than actually doing this. So Shiva is standing behind, we use the same ruler technique, draw the line, pre-drill and here I am just screwing the screws. For the screws, we used a galvanized screw, uh, Phillips head or we, with a V shape which we call as CSK here in India. So if you don't know, it's actually Phillips head CSK screw. Uh, it was a self-tapping one. But pre-drilling made it uh, really easy because self-tapping requires a lot of uh, push. So we used the Bosch machine to actually pre-drill and then we could just screw that in place. From the outside you can see that so much of work is pending. We have just started with the room on the top, then we have to do the room at the bottom. After completing uh, the entire walls then we moved to the one at the bottom. So here you can actually see the uh, bottom project getting started. This process is the same, put the flooring, mark the cutouts cut it using the angle grinder and just slide it into place. More than installing the walls, installing the floors were pretty easy because you had a kind of, uh, uh, the position was just right to drive the screws, but if it was walls then you had to stand on the ladder and then you had to push it so you didn't get much of a force from your arms into the walls, but flooring was much easier. In some places uh, where uh, the floor was not ready, we used to keep a uh, 18 mm uh, bison panel over there and uh, then take measurements and then set the walls. We will bring the sheets later. So I didn't have a proper estimate as to how many sheets we needed. So this is the technique that we followed. Sometimes the sheets just don't fit and we cannot take the sheets down because it's so heavy. So we measure it there, we just move it around and then using uh, angle grinder make those small nudging cuts and then just move it in place again. It was a lot of uh, trial and error, trial and error trying to get a rhythm. I think it was all worth it. So here's the home from the outside, you can see that uh, we have put panels over here and this uh, yellow line wherever you see is just polyester putty 
that we use for uh, covering holes in cars or dents so let's go inside this is the side view you can see i have installed uh, windows also these are aluminum windows there's a video coming about it as to how i made it myself that was the first experience so here's the side wall and if i walk through it you can see the kitchen is already set let's just concentrate on the panels so here the panels set the window cut out and here are some more panels you might be seeing uh, at the last this was the panel that was being installed this white one is actually white cement and after this white cement we'll be putting the polyester putty let me give you a closer look of the roof you can see that we have made cutouts in this bison panel and we have inserted it in the what do you call the support system and because the space was a little more we put in some polyurethane foam which expands inside the holes here near the windows we cut it into a step shape and we have installed it and this is the door to the outdoor bathroom and here's the tiles that we have installed of course yes uh, on the cement panel you can put tiles there's nothing major big difference uh, than using it at home so it's all the same process and i love this pattern i always try to pick some pattern and uh, these are some stairs there's a video coming about how i made the stairs also it's a pretty simple one but serves the purpose so if i climb above this is the front room that you were seeing us making remember we used to stand in these gaps so there's actually cement sheet below it also which we were seeing in the video after that we put uh, the tiles this is the back wall so we used to bring the sheets through that and that's the first ever sheet that we installed on in that corner So what do you think? Does it look neat? Does it look good? Please let me know in the comments. I would love to know your opinion. This is a new series that we are doing and we want to know what you think about it. So a lot of comments expected here and on our Instagram channel. As for the work that goes into making this, it's taking a lot of time. This is actually, I'm uploading it in May, but we started this work from December or November. So it took at least a good uh, two months to get this completed, but I have to compress it and show it to you in less than 20 minutes. If you think that this effort was worthwhile, then please click on the like button and do share it with your family and friends so that they know something. This kind of a home can also be built. The rains are coming soon, so you will get more updates on how it is sustaining against the elements. I hope to see you very soon in the next video and if you haven't watched the previous videos there is a playlist in the description please go ahead and check it out thank you for staying till the very end of this video if you're still there thank you so much for staying till the very end of the video my name is jcrp and you're watching kalakar makerspace videos if you've been watching this video till here then thank you so much you are a true fan of my videos until next time, happy learning. I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you so much.